In the previous video of endocrinology video series, we discussed about the endocrine system and its glands. If you want to watch that video first, the link is in the description. Now in this video, we'll be discussing about the pituitary gland. The pituitary gland aka hypophysis is an endocrine gland. And we see the four hormones from pituitary gland control other four endocrine glands and for that reason it is also called as monster gland. It's about the size of P. The location of pituitary gland is in the siphonoid bone where we have the saddle like depression called cella torsica as shown in the animation and diagram. Here the red color marking shows the cella torsica in both diagrams and the most inferior portion of cella torsica is known as hypophysial fossa where actually the pituitary resides. Now first of all let's see the structure of pituitary gland. Here in this diagram we have the anterior pituitary on the left and posterior on the right and this portion shown here is the hypothalamus and within the hypothalamus we see some neurosecretory cells which extends to the posterior pituitary as shown in the diagram. These neurosecretory cells are from the paraventricular nucleus of hypothalamus. Then we have another set of neurons from hypothalamus extending to pituitary gland as shown in the diagram. And these neurons or neurosecretory cells arise from the supraoptic nucleus of hypothalamus. Both paraventricular and supraoptic nucleus are part of nuclei of hypothalamus. And this part here inferior to hypothalamus is the optic chiasm. And on the right we have the floor of hypothalamus and we can also see the third ventricle of brain. Now getting to the hormones of pituitary. First let's see the posterior pituitary hormones. This posterior pituitary releases two hormones. First one is oxytocin and another one is antidiuretic hormone. And it must be noted here that this oxytocin is actually synthesized in the paraventricular nucleus of hypothalamus by magnocellular neurosecretory cells and then stored in the posterior pituitary. And in the same way, antidiuretic hormone or vasopressin hormone is synthesized in supraoptic nucleus of hypothalamus by neurosecretory cells and then stored in the posterior pituitary. So we can say posterior pituitary only stores and releases the hormones which it receives from hypothalamus and it does not have its own hormones. In the next, we have the anterior pituitary. It synthesizes and releases six hormones follicle stimulating hormone, luteinizing hormone, thyroid stimulating hormone, adenocorticotropic hormone, prolactin, and growth hormone. The first four hormones that's FSH, LH, TSH, and ACTH are termed as tropic hormones as they target other endocrine glands. So, in total, we have eight hormones from pituitary gland. Six are synthesized and stored in pituitary and two are actually synthesized in hypothalamus and then stored in the posterior pituitary. And one thing to remember here is that the anterior pituitary is under the control of hypothalamus while releasing and inhibiting hormones. Here we can see in this chart we have the hormone on the left and principal effect on the right. First of all from hypothalamus we get the thyrotropin releasing hormone that's TRH. It targets the anterior pituitary and promotes secretion of TSH that's thyroid stimulating hormone and prolactin. Second is the corticotropic releasing hormone CRH. It targets anterior pituitary and promotes secretion of adenocorticotropic hormone that's ACTH. Third releasing hormone from hypothalamus is gonadotropin releasing hormone GNRH. It targets the anterior pituitary and promotes secretion of FSH and LH. Fourth one is growth hormone releasing hormone GHRH. It targets the anterior pituitary and promotes secretion of growth hormone. Fifth one is prolactin inhibiting hormone. It targets anterior pituitary and inhibits the secretion of prolactin. And last hormone from hypothalamus is somatostatin. It inhibits secretion of growth hormone and thyroid stimulating hormone from pituitary. So these are the hypothalamic releasing and inhibiting hormones that regulate the anterior pituitary. Now let's get to the pituitary hormones one by one and see their target organs and principal effects. First we have the hormones from anterior pituitary. The follicle stimulating hormone is the first hormone that's FSH. It targets ovaries and testes and its principal effects in female includes growth of ovarian follicles and secretion of estrogen and in males it aids in sperm production. Second hormone is the luteinizing hormone. 
It also targets the gonads, that's testes and ovaries. And its principal effects include ovulation, maintenance of corpus luteum in females, and in males it stimulates testosterone secretion. Then third hormone from anterior pituitary is thyroid stimulating hormone, TSH. It targets the thyroid gland. And its principal effects include growth of thyroid, secretion of thyroid hormone. Then fourth hormone from anterior pituitary is adrenocorticotropic hormone, that's ACTH. It targets adrenal cortex and its principal effects include growth of adrenal cortex and secretion of glucocorticoids. Furthermore, the fifth hormone from anterior pituitary is prolactin, PRL. It targets mammary glands and it aids in milk synthesis. Then sixth hormone, that is the last hormone from anterior pituitary is growth hormone. It targets liver, bone, cartilage, muscle, fat tissue. And its principal effects include widespread tissue growth, especially in striated tissues. Now getting to posterior pituitary hormones. First, we have the antidiuretic hormone, that's ADH or you can say vasopressin. It targets the kidneys and its principal effects include the water retention. Then the second hormone from posterior pituitary is oxytocin, that's OT. It targets uterus and mammary glands. Its principal effects include the labor contraction, milk release, sexual affection, mother and parent bonding, and sperm transport when the sperm enters the vagina. So this concludes the structure of pituitary gland, its hormones, their targets, and principal effects. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Do consider support me on Patreon or YouTube and make sure to subscribe to this channel. Thanks.